Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Audio. My name is Bharat Kumar. So guys, in this video, we are going to build a simple and effective RAG application using OpenAI, Ulama model and then Python. OpenAI is a library that we are going to use in this project. So with the help of Ulama, we are going to pull Lama 3.2 model 3 billion parameters model. Got it right? So guys, in previous video, I explained how you can install Lama models in this Google Colab. So if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it out. I'm not going to repeat that process in this video because this video is completely based on the RAG application. Got it right? So if you haven't watched this video, please go and watch it out and then come back to this video. So first you need to install this package pip install open AI. So with the help of open AI framework, we are going to build our project. So after installing open AI, we need to install the Lama models. So in previous video, I explained in detail how you can able to install these models. So now you need to specify the model. So before specifying the model name, Let's see the Olama. So it is a Olama GitHub repository. So this many models Olama is giving to us. We can use freely. Got it right? So here we are going to use this model Lama 3.2 3 billion. So when you give this name, it will directly install 3 billion parameters. For example, if you want 1 billion, you can able to give directly Olama run 3.2 1 billion parameters. So guys, we can able to run this simple models effectively in our local system with the help of 4GB GPU and then 8GB RAM. But don't go to these big models. Even if you go for the big models, you have to choose more GPU in this Google Colab as well. So don't run big models in the local. So when you open this Google Colab, change the runtime to T4 GPU. Then you can able to run easily. So here I'm gonna choose this model. So if you wish, you can go for Gemma model or Code Llama or as well you can go for 5.3 model or as well you can go for Lama 3.1 model but here I am going to use the latest model Lama 3.2 got it right so here you have to give model name Lama 3.2 the model name has given so then we need to set up the OpenAI client import OpenAI OpenAI dot OpenAI it is the local host of Olama you can see it is the local host of Olama got it right so this local host you have to put here base URL and then API key no API key is needed. You can add any text because we are not using the OpenAI API key. Got it right? So the client has created. Then now response equal to client.chart.completions.create. In this we are giving our model name, temperature, n equal to 1 and then messages. Role equal to system. You are a helpful assistant. And then role equal to user. So here we need to pass our question. Write a haiku about a hungry cat. So guys you can see it gives the replay within 0 seconds. So now let's run it again. See guys, it is giving replay within one second. Got it right? Here you can ask one more question. See guys, it gave within eight seconds. Because guys, you can see, it gave this much of content. That's why it took eight seconds. Previously, it gave only the three lines of content. That is why it gave within one second. But here, it gave this much of content. You can see how beautiful it is. Data cleaning, data pre-processing, data visualization, statistical modeling, and machine learning. So this much content it gave. And also, steps including Relations used in many industries. Industries it is giving. And then you can see some of key skills required for a career in data science include programming, statistical knowledge, machine learning, data science, data visualization, and data and domain expertise. Got it right? So guys, if you can see this response, then successfully you have installed Lama 3.2 model. Now let's see what is RAG. RAG means retrieval augmented generation. It's a technique to get a language model to answer questions accurately for a particular domain. By first retrieving the relevant information from a knowledge source and then generating a response based on that information. Got it right? So here let's consider this PDF. So here we are going to use our Lama 3.2 model. So the model has already predefined content. See for example we have asked a question what is data science. So it gave the answer because it has some knowledge predefined context in that. But here I just want to see only this kind of content. It is my source data. The model has to took this information and it has to give the response with the help of this source only so that's why we are going to give this pdf to the model take my pdf and then execute and then give me the answer to this question based on this pdf got it right so here what we are doing means in our code we are just reading the txt file it contains five questions and then we are passing it to the model again user question plus sources so the model can read and then the model can give us the answer because we can able to give 128k input tokens 
for example if i have given this complete pdf as well the model can able to take and give it because it's about 37 pages only so the model can able to understand these pages so here why i'm making this video means i need to help you to understand how you can able to run 3.2 model on the google colab got it right here there is no vector database used in the upcoming videos i'm going to build the best rag application using millverse pinecone quadrant databases and also we are going to do more projects on rack but my main source is executing in the google colab because if i run this in my local system it may damage my gpus so that's why i have to choose this google colab you have many options in future videos i'll tell you how you can run these models in the best resources like easy to and the azure virtual machines like that got it right so now here i took one txt file it contains this five interview questions up to fifth one so here i'm just giving one system message in that i'm just giving you are a helpful assistant that answers questions about data science interview questions you must use the data to answer the questions you should not provide any information that is not in the provided sources so approximately it is going to give answer based on our information only and then user message here you can give your question list down the conditions for overfitting and underfitting got it right and then here we need to load our dot txt file and then assuming that the file has no headers and each question is separated by a new line because the each question is separated by new lines only so here we are just splitting and loading into this rows and then now we are normalizing the question user dot lower dot replace question and then any replace any symbols that we have in the question so for example it is our question it contains this many symbols so with the help of this one we are just removing the punctuations and then making it to lowercase so that the model can understand easily and then what's equal to normalized words that split we're just splitting it we're just finding the matching words after that you can able to see these are the 39 matches and it is printing the answers here so let's run and then let's see how it is executing see it found 39 matches with the help of this one now it gave the answer response equal to based on the provided resources here are the conditions for overfitting and underfitting so for the system prompt i gave this one and for the user i gave this question and as well the sources match at tables got it right so here let's understand whether the model give the correct or not it is a fourth question that we have so for the overfitting it give model performs well only on training data see the model performs well only for the sample training data it is correct low bias and high variance it gave the correct only decision trees are more prone see guys decision trees are more prone because when we use the decision trees it is more prone to the overfitting let's come to the underfitting when the model is too simple then we can able to face the underfitting issues high bias and low variance see high bias and low variance and then linear regression is more prone to underfit so guys it is a concept that using the rag application with the help of llama 3.2 so guys here there is no concept of chunking and there is no concept of vector databases and then there is no use of retrievals we are directly passing it to the model and then we are asking the question so in the next videos i'm going to use the top vector databases to build this rag application so guys are you able to follow my video so for example if you want to execute this in the local system then watch this video so in this video i explain how you can able to run the olama models in the local system it is just simple guys you just need to download the olama and then olama pull llama 3.2 and then olama run llama 3.2 that's it so with the help of these three commands you can able to install llama 3.2 model and then run this code the same code will run in your local system as well so guys the code is same but i'm executing in different environment i'm executing in the google collab you can able to execute in the ec2 in the run pod in the local or in, in any other sources but the concept is same got it right so guys subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit that like button so in the next video we are going to build the best rag application so with the best vector databases so guys bye for now see you in the next video